Before even time began, my life was in His hands. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and tears. Kids worship time. Welcome back, children. It is so good to see you. I'm so glad that you're here to worship together. Let's start the worship with a prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, thank you for bringing each and every one of us here today to worship you. Lord, please forgive all our sins with the blood of Jesus at this time and fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Lord, as we worship to you, please be glorified through us. And Lord, please come and touch us and heal us. Lord, please equip us and use us mightily for your kingdom. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, today's sermon title is Wise Men Visited Jesus. The sermon comes from the book of Matthew. So where is the book of Matthew? Is it in the Old Testament or New Testament? Yes, it is in the New Testament. Let's read the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 together. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, wise men from the east arrived unexpectedly in Jerusalem. Amen. Welcome back, everyone. We've been learning about the birth of Jesus, God's very own son. He had a mom, an earthly dad, who didn't seem all that extraordinary. Jesus wasn't born in a palace, and the people who came to worship him weren't, weren't fancy rich people. They were lowly shepherds. But God displayed a bright sign to announce that Jesus was the hero, the rescuer that they had been waiting for. God put this star in the sky like a spotlight that shouted, Here he is, everyone. This is my son. Some men were on the lookout for this sign. They had studied the promises that God made long ago. They searched with their eyes and thought that their brains and trusted with their hearts that when this star appeared, it would lead them to God's promised king. The question we need to ask at this point is why? Why did these men travel so far to see a little boy? Why did they care that he had been born? Had they discovered what you and I know about Jesus? Someone tell me, why was Jesus born? Precisely, Jesus was born to rescue us from sin. Remember that the people of Israel had waited for 400 years between the last prophet and Jesus' birth. We learned that everything God has said about Jesus' birth came true. Then an angel visited Mary and Joseph to tell them that Jesus was coming. They had to travel to Bethlehem to be counted for the census that Caesar Augustus had ordered. In Bethlehem, the time came to Mary for her baby to come. 
Then at just the right time, the Savior was born. Jesus has finally arrived. God announced the birth of his son by sending a choir of angels to some ordinary shepherds in the fields. Then a star appeared in the sky. Some wise men traveled from far away to Jesus. Let's hear the story. Long ago, God promised to send a king to save his people from their enemies. The people waited a long time for their king, but the time had finally come. Jesus was born in Bethlehem at the same time Herod was king. Was Herod the king God promised? No, Herod was an evil king. God sent a star to show the wise men that Jesus had been born. The wise men traveled to find Jesus they came to King Herod. Where is the king of the Jews? They asked. We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. King Herod was very angry. A new king? Herod was king. He assembled all the chief priests and scribes. They looked at what the prophets had written to figure out where Jesus had been born. The chief priests and scribes told King Herod what the prophet Micah had written. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the leaders of Judah, because out of you will come a leader who will shepherd my people Israel. Herod spoke to the wise men in secret. Go and search carefully for the child. When you find him, report back to me so that I too can go and worship him. But Herod was lying. He didn't want to worship the new king. He wanted to kill him. The wise men followed the star until it led them to Jesus. They went into the house where Jesus was with his mother Mary. The wise men fell to their knees and worshiped Jesus. Then they gave Jesus gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time for the wise men to go home, God warned them in a dream not to tell Herod where Jesus was, so they took a different way home. After the wise men were gone, an angel appeared to Mary's husband, Joseph, in a dream. The angel said, Get up, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. So in the middle of the night, Joseph got up and took Mary and Jesus to Egypt, where they would be safe. King Herod was so mad that the wise men didn't tell him where Jesus was, he killed all the boys in Bethlehem under two years old, just to make sure he killed Jesus. But he didn't know Jesus and his family had escaped. A while later, when Herod died, an angel spoke to Joseph again in a dream. Get up. Take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, because those who sought the child's life are dead. So Joseph did what the angel said. He got up and took Mary and Jesus to Israel. The wise men came to worship Jesus as king. Jesus is the king who will rule forever, as God promised to King David in 2 Samuel. Jesus is the true king who is worthy of all our worship. King Herod was an evil king who ruled over the Jews. So when the wise men showed up at his door and told him that they were looking for the new king of the Jews, he was mad. Herod misunderstood why Jesus was born. Why was Jesus born? Jesus was born to rescue us from sin. Jesus was born to be our savior and a shepherd for the Israelites. But Herod thought Jesus might be a political king. Herod did not understand 
who Jesus really was. When the wise men found Jesus, the wise men worshipped Jesus as king. They recognized that something was special about Jesus. And they brought him three gifts. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh are fragrant spices or perfume. All three gifts were given, usually given to royalty. The wise men knew that he was the king they had been waiting for. God warned Joseph in a dream that Herod was going to try to kill Jesus. Mary and Joseph took Jesus to Egypt where he would be safe. The wise men worshipped Jesus as king. When Jesus returns, he will reign as the king of kings and will rule forever. As God promised King David in 2 Samuel chapter 7, Jesus is the true king who is worthy of all our worship. Amen. Raise your hand if you ever heard of a country called Moldova. Moldova is a country in Eastern Europe and is home to more than 3.6 million people. Like the wise men worship Jesus as king, men and women serving as missionaries in the country of Moldova recognize that Jesus is the king of their lives. They traveled far from home to share the gospel with children in Moldova. They love the children there by meeting their physical needs and showing them Jesus' love. They also tell them the good news about Jesus so that the kids might believe in him and have hope for the future. Let's pray for the kids in Moldova to hear and believe the gospel. Let's also pray that God can use us to help others hear the gospel wherever we go. Let's read today's key passage. Today's key passage is from the book of Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 through 5. Let's read together. When the time came to completion, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. Why was Jesus born? Jesus was born to rescue us from sin. Our key passage says that God sent Jesus, born as a human being, to redeem us. Not only that, but when we turn away from sin and trust in Jesus, we become God's children. Let's pray, everyone. Heavenly Father God, Thank you that you sent Jesus to rescue us from sin. Please turn our hearts to worship the one who deserves all of our worship. Help us to worship Jesus. We love you and we thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time to bring our offering. We can give offering through online or drop it at church. Let's give our offering with our hearts. Let's pray, everyone. Heavenly Father God, thank you for giving us the opportunity to come together and worship you and give you this offering. Though we have learned that there are people who need gospel in the country of Moldova, Lord, please remember that country and the rest of the mission fields and we would like to lift up our beloved um, missionary pastor An's family. Lord, please be with them and provide what they need. And Lord, I would like to lift up our Yongnak Church, Yongnak Education Department, and especially Yongnak Kids Ministry. Lord, please use us for your kingdom. Let us be the channel of blessing to share your gospel and bring more souls to you. Lord, please strengthen us and be with us and be glorified through us. Please use this offering 
to expand your kingdom and build your churches. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, now let's end the service by reciting the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. We would like to thank all the children's choir for praising God on Christmas Day with Adult Choir. I would like to invite more students to join the children's choir and worship God together. Uh, boys and girls, there is a New Year's Eve worship tonight at 11 p.m. at the Main Sanctuary. Please come out with your family and worship God together to start the new year in God. Uh, please stay safe and healthy in Jesus and have a great, happy new year. I'll see you next time.